Welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed about the types of routers. Now before jumping on to the React portals, let's quickly build and finalize the designs of the home page. After doing that, we would have some confidence that yes, we are almost there to complete our portfolio because till now it has been a lot of theory and I know theory is a little bit boring. So I am jump, I'm going to jump on to the code in this video to finalize the designs for the home page. And after that, of course, we are going to study react portals and see how we are going to build this particular model. Perfect. So let's jump on to the code. Perfect. So making the home page is going to be relatively very, very easy because uh, it's not going to have a lot of stuff. It's uh, it's just a simple heading and a paragraph and two buttons and an image. So it's going to be fairly easy. So let's start building it. Of course, I am going to create a class based component for react because after some time we are going to have to store some state in our home page. Again, as I told you, if you uh, if we were using the hooks, we could have went on with the functional component as well. But since I haven't introduced you to the react hooks, since I'm planning to do that in the next tutorial, of course, stay tuned to all my tutorials. So since I'm planning to do that in the next tutorial in this tutorial, let's use the class based component itself. So I'm going to delete. Yeah, we can delete all of this. We, it's, it's okay to build this from scratch. So I'm going to build this from scratch, the class based component. For now, I'm just going to not have any uh, state object. But in the next video, after introducing you to the react portals, we would need a little bit of state in our home page. Cool. So let's get started. So first of all, let's have a sort of container. I'm going to call it home container. Inside that, let's have a sort of, uh, let's say header text. Since you already remember that we want to have a sort of uh, the heading there. And inside the header text, we would want an H1 saying, welcome to my portfolio. Perfect. And a P saying this is Madhav. Of course, write your own name here. <laughs> cool. A full stack dev and a teacher. That seems perfect. And let's do one more thing. Let's add some head buttons as well. I'm going to call it head BTNS. Head buttons. <laughs> cool. So inside that again, as you can see here, these are buttons. But basically, these are the link components because we are linking them we are using them to uh, navigate to different pages so what, what what so what we are going to do here is basically <coughs> we are going to add two link components perfect so let's include the link component cool so it did not auto import since it did not auto import let me import it manually import link from react okay did, why did it not show okay react router dom perfect this is perfect and let me use link i'm going to provide two so first one is about so i'm going to use about i'm going to provide a class name of button and button white and that's more or less it and inside that i'm going to provide a p tag with a class name of button hyphen text and i'm going to say no more about me this is perfect and a similar thing a similar uh, link link to contact slash contact of course slash contact class name equal to uh, button and button transparent since the next button is transparent transparent perfect and uh, yeah that should be enough and i'm going to add another p saying with the same button text we don't need to have separate class for this saying connect with me or send an email or something like that and that's simple perfect and then finally we are also going to integrate this uh, sort of header image or something like that so i'm going to call it splash image again as you already know it's already included in the assets the name of the splash image is nothing but home anime home anime.gif perfect this is fine so what i'm going to do is of course i'm going to import the home anime from from 
one level up one level up assets slash home underscore anime dot gif this is perfect i'm going to add an image here with src equal to home anime uh, yeah that should be fine and uh, the old text can again be home animation or just animation perfect plan just provide a class name as well saying home hyphen anime this looks perfect let's use it i know we still have to provide the stylings for it but for now let's try to import it in the home section uh yeah oh, it's already imported perfect so let's see what happened to our page yes so we can see some things here but it's not properly styled so let's quickly style it as well this is going to be a very short video because styling as you know it's not that difficult perfect so i'm going to add a home container again inside my home container i'm going to use the same uh, let's say this linear gradient background uh, yes, let's use the same one. I'm going to use display flex because again, I love using flexbox and if you don't already know, I already have a flexbox tutorial where we learned flexbox from scratch. So don't forget to check out my flexbox tutorial. It's going to be super awesome. So let's add column flex direction is column since we want to show everything in the column fashion let's add a justify content since we want to uh, justify the content to center which will since it's column so justify content is going to be along the main axis it's going to be column and it's going to justify the content to center perfect let's overflow by uh, overflow by as hidden because or rather auto because for the small screen it is going to overflow and padding can be um, 100 pixels top and bottom and around 10 percent left and right that seems cool box sizing as always the border box not box shadow it's box sizing border box perfect so this one was for our home container we added a background we added a display we added a flex direction and along with justify content let's add and align items as well to horizontally and vertically align it to center we added a padding we added a overflow y we added let's add a min height as well so that we can give that at least this should be of 100 uh, view height because as you can see here currently it's not 100 vh so it's remaining a little bit uh, low on the screen so ideally and most on most of the screen sizes this is going to go overflow by but still in large screen sizes it's going to be um, it's going to be less than 100 vh so yes let's provide a min height of 100 view height so yes explaining styles it takes time to explain each and every style but so as you can see we are almost done with the positions now we just need to have some sort of uh, colors and all those stuff but you already know that it takes time to style things and explaining each and every style that I'm doing is a little bit time consuming but anything for you. <laughs> cool. So in the header text, this is the header text. Again, we are going to add display flex. The direction is again going to be uh, flex direction is going to be column again and text align center. Perfect. This is this is something uh, self-explanatory and if you don't understand flexbox again don't forget to check out my flexbox tutorial so header text and the h1 inside header text is going to be font family is going to be poppins although we don't need to specifically say this because we have already assigned this to the body but still no harm in doing this font style can be normal yep that shouldn't be bad font weight can be 900 because we want it to be super bold font size can be not style size can be 3 m's and line height can be 62 pixels that seems perfectly fine text align again center we want it to be aligned although we don't need it you already know that it's already aligned uh, but it's okay no we it's okay we can have that letter spacing can be 0.2 pixels um, color can be 
white color because it's again white color <laughs> f f f and margin can be 10 pixels on all sides perfect this looks perfectly fine this looks superb so now we are done with the header text uh, we are done with the h1 styling for the header text now let's do the same thing for our p tag again the font family is going to be pop in font style is going to be normal so let's just copy and paste this from here but the font size or let's go with font weight first is going to be 600 it's not going to be super bold extra bold font size can be 16 pixels or if you want you can provide it in m's it does not matter either way because you already know we are learning react here not styling but still it's okay line height can be 20 pixels and color can be somewhat grayish so i'm going to add an e5 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 one of my favorite gray shades of gray <laughs> margin can be 10 pixels and head buttons so we have two head buttons remaining so let's style that head hyphen btns cool uh, inside the head buttons we can have display flex inside the flex direction we can have row inside the justify content we can have center again the same thing it's everything is self-explanatory here but one thing is flex wrap because if it goes outside the container we will have to wrap it so this is going to happen why i'm doing this because this is definitely going to happen in our small screen sizes which is our um, phone size perfect so let's give it a margin as well margin of top 35 uh, not 25 let's give it 35 pixels then 10 pixels then bottom 35 pixels once again then 10 pixels once again but if it's the same we can use a shorthand notation as you already know so uh, let's give it uh, the button let's style the button as again display flex so flexbox so much flexbox i really love using flexbox flex direction this time it's going to be column and then justify center uh, padding can be let's say zero pixels top and bottom and 36 pixels left and right this seems perfect height can be 52 pixels yeah that seems fine left zero pixels and top zero pixels then text decoration can be again none then box shadow can be again let's uh, let's add the same box shadow as we added added it here perfect let's add the same box shadow let's add some border radius as well um let's say 39 pixels should be good enough margin of four pixels perfect so many things we have done quite a lot till now so i think only a few things are remaining uh, let's let's cover those as well in this video before ending this video yes styling takes time and um, after the model uh, after the react portals we are going to have only the styling videos and there's going to be a lot of css so i'm just warning you after the next to next video it's it's all going to be about the styling so it will be a good refresh for you if you have started to forget the flexbox or um, css so it's going to be a good refresher the button white with back white background is going to be fff and the color is going to be hashtag uh, 112d and 57 that's perfect and for the transparent button button transparent i'm going to add a border of one pixel solid and the color is going to be fff perfect box sizing again you know border box border radius again 39 pixels uh, same thing although we already provided it here so we don't need to provide it here once again so let's just remove it from here and color i'm going to keep it hashtag fff this is perfect so it's already done we just need to add some hover stylings as well so i'm going to add button on hover it's going to behave like this box shadow again box shadow we can take it from go home so let's just do this on hover and transition is also going to be the same so let's just copy and paste this whole thing 
So next time I'll probably tell you how to use CSS variable so that we don't have to repeat ourselves so much. But it's okay. You already, I think it's very basic and you must already know this. And then the button text, some small stylings for the button text as well. Font family is going to be pop-ins. Font style is going to be normal. Font style, style is going to be normal. Font weight can be 500. Yeah, that's fine. Font size can be 16 pixels. Perfect. Cool. Line height can be 16 pixels once again. Again, as I told you, when you work on the real world projects, you don't have to type it out everything yourself. You will be given a Figma or a Adobe XD design and in that design there will always be a CSS option. So you will have access to this whole style sheet. You won't have to do it on your own. So yes, don't worry about that. Let's give it a little bit of styling to our splash image as well. So inside our splash image, again, this is a container. So I'm going to give it a display uh, of flex. I'm going to flex direction column and align items center. Perfect. And let's give a little bit of home anime as margin bottom as minus 80 pixels. Perfect. So we are done with the stylings now. It's looking very, very good. But for the small screen sizes, it's not going to look good. As you can see here, it's overflowing. So now what we want to do is we want to handle the stylings for the small height sc uh, screen sizes and small width screen sizes for small height screen sizes. So this is something that Figma or Adobe XD, uh, Adobe XD is not going to give you. So this is something that you would need to learn on your own. So media only screen. Uh, yeah, and we can give, let's say, a max height of let's say 550 pixels yes so for small screen for small height screen sizes i'm give the home i'm going to give the home anime as width of 400 pixels so this looks fine i think small this is not small height this is small width so let's do a small height as well for small height it's going to be like this this looks perfect so for small screen sizes let's do something else uh, let's say for iPhone 10 or do you want to, me to use let's say pixel yeah this should be cool um, okay so let's add some stylings for small width screens as well so again the same thing or let's copy and paste this from here itself and here I'm going to provide a max width instead of max height width again generally small screen sizes have a 640 width although you can customize it I'm going to give it a width of 80%. I'm going to use percentage here because I want to use 80% uh, of the width uh, based on the width because I'm aligning because I'm making the size of it based on the width. I'm going to align this self as center and margin bottom as minus 20 pixels instead of minus 80 pixels. Perfect. So that is cool. Head buttons. I'm going to use the head buttons as uh, margin just just a little bit because inside this you can see there's not a proper margin here so I'm just going to provide some proper margin 10 pixels top 10 pixels right 35 pixels bottom and 10 pixels left that's it and now this is done this is looking so damn cool isn't it? It's looking so awesome. On And this is going to work on every screen size. If it doesn't, let me know. I'll change the screens and I'll change the styles and uh, update some videos. But yes, it is going to look super awesome. So this is done. This is our first home page. And in the next video, we are going to have a look into React portals. I added this video so that you can get a little bit of confidence that yes, we are now very close to finalizing our portfolio website. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.